Hi, this is Jay Lee. I hope everything is well with you. I just wanted to show you this one. I, I really couldn't let this one go. This one comes from Silmar, which I couldn't get to because I was moving, but it was fantastic. I captured this one at the end of July 2017. I used my telescope, which should tell you that it was moving slowly across the sky. I suspect that this one came within a mile of my location. It looked like a couple of balloon clusters that were attached to each other. I found them relatively normal except I thought it was a little strange to have a couple of clusters that were tied to each other. When I do my UFO communication, I always ask them to differentiate themselves from normal aerial debris. I ask them to give me something that will make them stand out so I could recognize that it's them. Now sometimes they show me something extremely subtle, but other times they make it blatantly obvious. An example of an obvious one is a flyby. So here's the big question with this one. Are they attached? I don't know where they came from, but they look attached to me. So I called and these came. To me, these look a little unusual because number one, I don't see clusters that often. Number two, I hardly ever see attached clusters. Do you? So I don't know how many miles these things traveled to my location, but I was able to focus in on them with my telescope. And what do you know? They began to separate and I captured it on video. So what I wanted to show people is the dance they did before disengagement. So you have to think, when was the last time I saw a couple of tie balloon clusters floating in the sky separate just as you start watching and taping them? I know that some will say that I just got lucky. Well, number one, I'm not that lucky. Number two, what are we talking here? Lottery numbers? What are the chances that two attached clusters fly many miles to Silmar, California on this particular day at this particular time while my telescope with a camera attached to it captures it detaching? You have to realize that I called to them to come to my location and show me something unusual. I set up my telescope and attached my camera so that I could capture their subtle yet obvious structure or behavior. What I wanted to say that this was not an accident. I pulled out my equipment, my telescope, my photographic equipment, and memory cards. I called them to come to my location and weird things happen. Why is it so hard to understand? If you tried something like this and you had a telescope, how many years would it take you to figure out that this was not an accident? And I know what others are going to say that I release these myself. You know, people are idiots. If you know me and my channel, you know that I would never hoax anything closely related to ufology. To have someone think that I would release a couple of attached cluster of balloons having them fly up a mile up in the sky before pushing some sort of button making them separate as I capture the entire episode with my telescope with my camera attached is ludicrous. I call it crazy think, but I guess this is the simple minded justification of Occam's razor for something like this. Yes, this is going to upset people. The closed-minded, cynical people who are extremely content with their reality will be upset the most. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please tell me what you think is going on with this footage. Please join LA UFO channel on meetup.com and join us as we get together for our UFO sighting event. We want you to see these things with your own eyes. This is Jay Lee and I'll see you next time. Yeah.